Everyone wants to achieve a certain amount of success in life. This story is about a guy who didn't have much talent but was able to please people. Thanks to his manners and good upbringing, he was able to enter the environment of British aristocrats. The man was young and hot, therefore he made many mistakes in his life. And to stay on top, he had to sacrifice some of his moral principles. Whether that's good or bad, you'll be able to tell after the review. This is Mr. Narrator. Enjoy the video. Chris Wilton is an Irish tennis player with a passion for opera and Dostoevsky. In search of a better future, he moves to London. The hero successfully passes the interview for the position of a tennis instructor at an elite country club and immediately begins work. The manager introduces the guy to Tom Hewitt, heir to one of the wealthy families of the city. After training, the men decide to get to know each other better. It turns out that besides tennis, they have many common interests. Tom invites Christopher to visit the opera, where he introduces the tennis player to his parents and sister Chloe. The Hewitts remain pleasantly impressed by the guy's manners and invite him to a Sunday event at their estate. Their men again play tennis, but Tom concedes the racket to his sister and goes to prepare cocktails. The couple has a great time. The guy teaches Chloe to play. The girl flirts with him and they agree on a date on Wednesday. Christopher then changes into a suit and goes to see the house. In one of the rooms, a spectacular blonde is playing table tennis. It is Nola Rise the girl offers the man to play a game for money. Chris accepts the challenge. After a few serves, the blonde realizes that the stranger is a pro. The guy puts his arm around her waist and shows her the correct racket movements. In the process, Chris makes several compliments to Nola's appearance, but the girl does not react. Tom enters the room and introduces the girl to the friend as his fiancée. The men are delighted with the American woman. The friend tells about their acquaintance at the party. Chris and Chloe start spending time together. In the movie, the couple kisses hotly and decides to move for a closer acquaintance in the guy's apartment. Spouses Hewitt notice the hero's interest in their daughter and approve of their relationship. Chloe asks her father to help the guy to change jobs. When they meet, she tells Chris about possible prospects. Later, Tom and his fiancée join the couple. The guys argue about cars and make an order, reproaching Christopher for being too modest. The guy asks Nola about her acting career and the Hewitts actively support the conversation. A few days later, the tennis player gets a job at Hewitt Inc. In gratitude for his help, the guy gives Chloe a disc with opera music. The girl says that her brother invited them to the movie, but she would like to spend the evening alone. Chris wants to see Nola again and convinces Chloe to change her decision in favor of watching the movie. In the evening, Tom went to the movies alone, and the hero couldn't get what he wanted. In the next episode, Chloe and Chris actively spend time in bed. The girl is proud of her boyfriend's achievements in the company. In the morning, the hero is shopping and accidentally meets Nola on the street. The actress is nervous before the audition. The guy offers to support her. The blonde fails the audition and they go to a bar to celebrate. The actress talks about herself and her family in Colorado. Chris compliments the girl. The guys discuss the Hewitt family. Nola assures the lad that the aristocrats are preparing him to marry Chloe. The Hewitts and their friends go to the farm, hunt and look at the horses before the race. Chloe's father is pleased with the boy's work and offers Chris to go on a course at the expense of the company. In the evening, Tom and Nola play chess. The boy's father is interested in the girl's success at the auditions, and the mother begins to press questions about the future. Eleanor argues that acting is not for everyone, Tom stands up for his fiance. The blonde goes out for some air. It's pouring rain outside. From the window, Christopher sees Nola going somewhere in a sullen mood. The hero catches up with the girl in the field. The couple begins to kiss in the rain. Then they are engaged in sewing. After a while, the friends meet at the opera. Nola went out to talk on the phone. Chris followed her to clarify the relationship. The guy wanted to kiss the blonde, but the girl pushed him away. The hero studies hard and works hard. One day he meets an old tennis acquaintance and talks about his current life. The friend is happy for Chris. At a reception at the Hewitt house, Eleanor questions the hero about when he will propose to her daughter. Chloe is embarrassed and leads her mother away. Alex assures that they will be happy to accept a young man into their family. The guy goes to get some air and catches Tom and the actress in the pantry, where they decided to warm up. This upsets Chris because he thought there was chemistry between him and Nola in the field. In the next episode, Christopher and Chloe get married. When the couple picks out a house, the young wife announces that she wants to add to their family. 
Chris is not keen on the idea. During the game, Tom confesses to a friend about his breakup with Nola and a new relationship. The hero tries to find the actress, but she went back to America. At home, Sloe annoys her husband with questions about intimacy. The guy talks about his fatigue and calms his wife with a kiss. Tom marries a new lover. His girlfriend is already pregnant. Chris hurries to the gallery to meet his wife. On the way, he sees Nola and follows her, but meets Chloe and her friend. He cites the need to make a phone call. Nola is standing in one of the halls. The guy suggests that they meet in an informal setting. The girl doubts the reasonableness of this decision, but dictates him her phone number. The other day, Christopher visits the actress in a new apartment. They demonstrate acrobatic tricks to each other. The blonde tells the guy about her life and her neighbor. In the morning, the Wilton spouses have breakfast, discussing the news. Chloe insists that her husband shows feelings for her every morning, but the guy is in a hurry. In the mornings, Chris meets with Nola to get to know the girl more deeply. In the evening, the hero has dinner at a restaurant with Tom's family. The guys discuss Tom's meeting with Nola in the flower shop and her addiction to alcohol. To their table approach acquaintances, the buddy claims that he saw Chris catching a cab near the housing of the actress. The hero convinces the man that he mistook him for someone else. In the middle of the working day, Chris goes to meet Nola. The couple quarrels in a cafe. The actress is angry because she failed casting again and considers Chris's attitude to her not serious. The Hewitt family wishes each other a Merry Christmas. Christopher calls the blonde to arrange a meeting. The guy comes to her to please her friend with a massage with continuation, and they spend hot time together. In the spring, Chloe is with her brother and friends, discussing an upcoming vacation. Nola calls Chris on his cell phone. The girl says that she misses the guy and asks him to come urgently, but the hero promises to meet her the other day. Not waiting for a date, the blonde again calls Christopher on the city number of the Hewitt estate. The hero is angry at her persistence. On the phone, the actress informs the guy that she is pregnant. When they meet, the couple quarrels because of the situation. The girl does not want to solve the issue as the man suggests. Chloe notices her husband's bad mood. The couple discusses their marital problems. The girl admits that she puts too much pressure on Chris because of her desire to expand the family. He feels guilty and kisses his wife. A man meets with an old friend for a frank talk. He confesses that he wanted to leave his wife for another, but could not. Christopher loves both women and begins to understand the difference between love and attraction. Having met Nola, the guy promises to leave Chloe after a vacation. The blonde is jealous and does not believe Chris's promises. At home, the guy learns that the vacation is cancelled. He calls Nola to break the news but suddenly changes his mind and goes to the opera with his wife. A few weeks later, Chloe and her husband host her parents at their home. Alex tells his son-in-law about a new project with the Japanese that he wants to involve him in. Eleanor helps her daughter clear the table and pressures Chloe about the grandchildren. Guy gets a call from Nola, who wants to know when Chris will be back in town, but she's alarmed by the sounds in the background. In the morning, the girl walks near her buddy's office and sees him getting into a car. Later, Nola clarifies exactly where her friend is resting and becomes convinced that he is lying to her. The next morning, the blonde meets the guy at the entrance to the company and right on the street gives him a scandal. The couple goes to find out the relationship in Nola's apartment. The girl threatens the hero to reveal the truth about their relationship. Christopher is tormented by insomnia. He came up with a solution to the problem and looked into the Hewitt's arsenal. The guy visited his girlfriend to find out when she would be home, but the woman again gave him a scandal. At home, he tells his wife that he bought tickets to a musical she wanted to see. After meeting with the Japanese, Chris goes to Nala's house. The guy knocks on the neighbor's door and carries out his plan. It was difficult for the hero to make this decision, but he sees no other way out. Nola finishes work early and hurries home. Chris meets her on the landing. The guy is running late and Chloe calls her husband. In the cab, the man is worried about the lengths he had to go to in order to save his family. Chris and Chloe are watching a musical. The police arrived at Nola's house. Detectives suspect thieves in the incident and interview the neighbors. At breakfast, Chloe reads the news in the newspaper and tells about the accident with the actress. Chris pretends to be surprised. The girl is called by her mother and Hewitts actively discuss the event. A little later, young people go to Chloe's parents. The couple tells that the girl managed to get pregnant. The happy news is interrupted by a call from the secretary, 
who informs that Chris is looking for the police. The guy communicates with the detective on the phone and he is invited to visit the station. Before the meeting, the hero gets rid of the things he took in the apartment of the neighbor Nola. Detectives found the girl's diary and ask Christopher about his relationship with the actress. The guy tells the men about the affair with the blonde and asks the police to be delicate because of his wife's position. The detectives discuss what happened. Only one of them believes Chris. In the next scene, Christopher falls asleep at the computer and spills a glass of wine on the papers. The guy sees Nola and her neighbor, and he explains his act to the women, quoting Sophocles. The detective, who does not believe the hero, has a dream in which the pieces of the puzzle involving Chris fit together. In the morning the man tells his theory to his partner, but the latter reports that the culprit has already been found. Nine months later, the Hewitt family rejoices over the newest member of their family. Christopher is standing nearby. He doesn't share in the fun. Would you be happy if there was one terrible secret separating you from a happy future? In the comments, was it worth it for Chris to go to such drastic lengths to keep his family together? It was a 2005 movie called Matchpoint. See you in the next videos.